and his pal, Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Desert Queen. Clutch and company, off on another adventure, have booked passage on an old-fashioned riverboat and are headed downstream on a secret mission. Looks like a lazy day for Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot. Golly, Clutch, I bet I'm the luckiest kid in the world taking all these trips with you. You're a big help, too, Spinner. Remember, though, no one must know that the purpose of our trip is to find the Desert Queen. About three weeks ago, a 29-pound ruby, the biggest and most perfect ruby in the world, was stolen from the King's National Museum of Monrovia. 29 pounds? Why, that weighs as much as Paddlefoot. Rumor has it the Desert Queen, who once lived in the palace at Monrovia, feels that the ruby is rightfully hers. And they say she sent an agent from her desert hideaway to Monrovia to return the ruby to her. So, Spinner, don't speak to strangers. This boat may be loaded with spies. Don't worry, Kutch. I'll be careful. And just at this moment, farther along the ship's deck lurks a strange figure, very interested in Clutch and company. Say, I didn't finish packing those suitcases, Spinner. I better do it now. Okay, I think I'll stay here. The sun feels good. Well, well, young man, did you drop this? No, I didn't, sir. You are the only passenger on board of Boy Scout Age. You must have dropped this Boy Scout knife. I do belong to the Scouts, but I don't have my knife yet. Well, my boy, you do now. That's your knife. But, but Clutch said not to... Talk to strangers? <laughs> Always an excellent idea, Sonny. <laughs> Never talk to strangers. But, mister, you're a... a stranger? <laughs> not anymore. We're friends. I gave you the knife, remember? Well... I'm the Maharaja of Sphinxville. <laughs> All my friends call me Big Ma. What's your name? Spinner, and this is Paddlefoot. <coughs> oh, how delightful. <laughs> Mr. Maharaja, what's in that basket? Is that your lunch? <laughs> no, Spinner. This basket contains a delightful gift for my little grandson. A cobra. <laughs> a deadly cobra. They make wonderful pets when they're tamed. Well, Spinner, let me say I'm extremely happy to have met you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Maharaja. Maybe I'll see you again. Maybe, Spinner, maybe. But I doubt it. Too bad. <laughs> you didn't like him, did you, boy? I guess I shouldn't have talked to him. I better tell Clutch. What's that, Spinner? A man, Clutch. The Maharaja speaks, Bill. He gave me this knife, said his friends called him Big Ma. He was so nice, Clutch. And he had a cobra in the basket for his grandson. Spinner, I asked you not to talk to strangers. Golly, I'm sorry, Clutch. We've got to be careful. While we were on deck, someone searched our luggage. Lucky I've got the map in my pocket. There, that message will warn them about Clutch Cargo. <coughs> Away to Sphinxville, you beautiful bird. <coughs> Only another day and night's travel, and we'll be there. Right, Clutch, it won't be long now. <coughs> Look out, Spinner! <coughs> They can't hear us! My, what a pity. We've lost those two nice people, and that water is filled with whirlpools. Probably crocodiles, too. And yesterday, I saw a stingray. I must notify the captain... someday. Can Clutch and company survive those dangerous swirling waters? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo and his pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Desert Queen. You remember last time, Clutch and company were traveling by riverboat to the Desert Queen's palace to bring back a 29-pound ruby stolen from the Monrovia National Museum. Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot were leaning on the boat rail when suddenly it gave way. Help! Help! Come back! Wait for us! They can't hear us! Hold on, Spinner boy. I'm coming. What the? It's got me, too. It, is it a whirlpool? No, it's a net. We're being pulled toward shore. I wonder who's on the other end of this net. In a moment, we'll know. Halt! Who are you? How 
Don't you get into my net. Take it easy with that gun, mister. Name is Cargo. Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, the famous adventurer author. I don't know how famous, but I'm the one. Clutch Cargo, why, I read your last book. My name's Twaddle, Colonel Lucifer Twaddle. Colonel Twaddle, the foremost authority on prehistoric bones? The same. Well, I read your last book, Colonel Twaddle. Very interesting. Well, that makes it a mutual admiration society. Oh, oh. Paddle put like the part about dinosaur bones. I see. What brings you here? And so, Colonel Twaddle, the ship's rail broke, we fell overboard, and here we are. However, I managed to save this map. It'll show us the overland route to the Desert Queen's stronghold. We're at this point now. First stop, Pharaoh Oasis. Then a short journey by camel to the Desert Queen's palace. Do you prefer your camel with one hump or two? With this gang, we'll need a two-humper. Oh, that's good. I just happen to have one in the bushes. This is my camel, Sir Duffy. Gee, Paddlefoot, a real camel. And we get to ride him. All ready. Clutch, you ride the front hump. Spinner the back hump. Paddlefoot behind Spinner. And I'll ride the middle. <laughs> Golly, Clutch, this is like riding on a small-sized roller coaster. Right, Spinner. Just be sure to hang on. I don't know why it is. I always end up with the cheap seats. I'm extremely happy I could join you, Clutch. Perhaps I'll discover some giant brontosaurus bone. Anything is possible where we're going, Colonel. Just be on the lookout for Big Ma. He's dangerous. For miles through hot desert sands they trudge. Tired and thirsty, Clutch and company with Colonel Twaddle arrive upon a welcome scene. Look, Clutch! An aosis! That's an oasis, Spinner. Anyway, it means water. Don't drink too fast now. Cold water isn't good for you when you're too hot. We'll fill the canteens and be off. Clutch! Colonel Twaddle! Look! There goes the Maharaja of Sphinxville. He's riding a one-humper. No time to lose. Come on, let's go. He's headed for Sphinxville, too. I hope we can keep Big Ma in sight. I doubt if we can. He's pulling away. Go, Duffy, go! Looks like we've lost him, Clutch. He's gone. Good heavens, Clutch. Look ahead. Sandstorm. Worst thing that could happen. Right in our path, too. Traveling this way fast. Cover your noses and mouth. Will Clutch Cargo and company be buried beneath the desert sand? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Desert Queen. You remember last time, Clutch and company were on their way to the Desert Queen's palace. Traveling on the desert with Colonel Twaddle's camel, they had just seen Big Ma disappear over a sand dune. Then, without warning... Don't give up, men. <coughs> As old Swampy would say, where there's a will, there are several ways. What's that? Well, sounds like motors. Stay right there, all of you. I'm going to take a little trip. Little by little, Clutch inches his way through the storm, digging, clawing, pulling his body. The sound of motors getting louder. Well, it was a sandstorm, all right, but a whirlwind machine. A well-thought-out plan to do away with all this. But only a Ben Big Ma. Spinner, Colonel Twaddle, you can get up now. It's over. Everybody okay? Fine, Clutch. Ah! Now that we're underway again, it won't be long before we see the Desert Queen's palace. Let's hope there'll be no more mishaps. I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of Big Ma. We're here, Sphinxville and the palace of the Desert Queen. How do we get in, Clutch? Read that sign. It says, to open gate, sound your musical A. Musical A? Yes, you know, Spinner. Sing the scale. You mean, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Well, that didn't work. Let's all try it. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Good boy, boy.
Paddlefoot. You've opened the gate. Come on. By Jove, what a delightful place. Sure looks quiet. But we don't know yet if it's friendly. Clutch, look! Get him, Punchy. Oh. This guy means business. Open the gate, Paddlefoot! Howl! Howl! Hi, hard, Paddlefoot! Oh! Oh! He, he can't! He's too scared! Only one chance. Trip him. It's been a run. Too close for comfort. Hey, where's Colonel Twaddle? They got him, Clutch. He didn't get out. Then we've got to get in. We can't use the gate, so we'll use the wall. But how, Clutch? It's too high. Not when you've got Duffy. Come on, boy. Ever see a camel ladder spinner? Not till now. Feet up on this ledge. There. Hold on. We're going over the top. <clears throat> Quiet now and stick together. We've got to have a little talk with the Desert Queen. Slowly they move until they find a stairway leading to a door. Easy, Spinner. Once inside this door and we're in the palace. Ah! Catch! Look! Mummies! You're right, Spinner. A mummy tomb. Uh oh, locked in. I wonder what we've gotten ourselves into this time. Mummies are thousands of years old. Wow. Locked in a tomb of mummies with one still alive. Will they get out? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Desert Queen. You remember last time, Clutch and company luckily escaped the razor-sharp knife of Pungies. Clutch, Spinner, and Paddlefoot went back inside in search of Twaddle. Golly, Clutch, Paddlefoot's attacking the mummy. No, Paddlefoot, don't. There may be a curse on that mummy. He's unwinding the bandage, Clutch. Stop him. It's too late, Spinner. The damage is done. And look, it's Colonel Twaddle. Is, is he all right, Clutch? He's alive, but that was a close one. Just a few more minutes and he'd have been a real mummy. I bet we can thank Big Ma for this. Thank Paddlefoot. He's the real hero. <laughs> well, where am I? What happened? You're going to be all right, Colonel Twaddle. That was a tight one. I'll say, just like my first tuxedo. Stay with him, Spinner. I want to look around. We've got to find a way out. Sometimes these walls have secret doors. No, nope. no luck. I feel much better, Clutch. Raring to go. I'll teach them to twiddle with twaddle. Good, Colonel. Together, maybe we can find a way out. Right behind Clutch and his friends, an ancient sarcophagus slowly opens. Oh, no, not another live one. She sure looks alive to me. I can't believe it. Must be my Uncle Water Fever coming back. That's not Fever Twaddle. She's real. Shh. She's going to speak. I welcome you to my palace, gentlemen. I am the Desert Queen. Thank you for all of us, Your Highness. May I ask who you are? This gentleman is Colonel Lucifer Twaddle, prehistoric bone specialist. And this is Spinner, my young pal, and his dog, Paddlefoot. My name is Clutch Cargo. I am highly honored, sir. I have read your adventure book. Who sent you here? The King of Monrovia sent us to find you to plead with you to return the priceless 29-pound ruby to the National Museum. Sir, I do not have the ruby, nor have I seen it since I left it in the museum. Well, the ruby has disappeared, and as the story goes, you are supposed to have sent someone to steal it. This is terrible. I have always believed the ruby should remain in the Monrovia Museum. Who could have taken it? Clutch! Do you think Big Mom? Just a moment, Spinner. Do you know the Maharaja of Sphinxville, Your Highness? Very well. He is one of my most trusted subjects. Maybe so, but nevertheless a very dangerous man. 
Clutch tells the queen about their trip and their narrow escapes and how they always saw Big Ma running from the scene. We must be careful. If what you say is true, the Maharaja may be planning to seize my throne. Ears have heard every word that was said, for just inside the mummy case door, a huge figure lurks. Please be quiet. These tunnels echo. Stay together, everyone. Right, Clutch. Strange man, the Maharaja, always carrying that big basket. I've never asked him, but I think that is his briefcase. Well, he told Spinner it was a gift for his grandson. Said it was a cobra. Right, Spinner? Spinner, they're gone. Disappeared in thin air. Colonel Twaddle. Well, they couldn't have gone far. Well, there's another door right... <coughs> Spinner and Twaddle gone. The queen kidnapped. And Clutch knocked out cold. Is this the end? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo and his pals, Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Desert Queen. You remember last time, Clutch and company with Colonel Twaddle had met the Desert Queen, who, as Clutch and his friends with the Queen started through a secret tunnel, Spinner, Twaddle, and Paddlefoot disappeared. Turning back... Sorry you two won't be able to enjoy our little game as much as we will. <laughs> you have a very dark future, Your Highness. <laughs> Keep your eyes on that wall, Mr. Cargo. In a moment, your little playmate will enter. <laughs> Pretty ferocious looking. Now, if I can hypnotize him by staring him down like Swampy told me, then he'll be friendly, I hope. Steady, boy, steady. Easy does it. Careful, easy. <coughs> It worked. Phew. Now, come on, boy. Come on. Nice, kitty. Easy, easy. Stay. Good, kitty. Stay. Now to stand on his back. There, now if I can just straighten up, I can get these ropes over this pole. A little more and... Got it. Now to open that mummy case. Hope Her Highness is okay. Are you all right, Your Highness? Perfectly, Mr. Cargo. But so hurt to think my most trusted subject, the Maharaja, would try to do away with me. Like he's probably trying to do with Spinner, Twaddle, and Paddlefoot. Follow me, Mr. Cargo. We'll use my secret tunnel. I'm sure we will find them headed for the open air arena. The Desert Queen pulls the bottom bill of an ancient bird statue. Suddenly, a portion of the wall opens, revealing a tunnel. Come quickly, Mr. Cargo. There's no time to lose. Uh oh We're near the end of this tunnel, and I hear voices. That's the march to the slave market. Look, there's Spinner, and Twaddle, and Paddlefoot. I've got to stop them. Not that mob, Mr. Cargo. Wait, we'll find a way. No time to lose. Is there another way to reach them? Through that door. What are you intending to do with them, Big Ma? Sell them as slaves worth their weight in gold. Made it. What luck. That rope is tied to that beam across the arena. Take that! And now for a sky ride, Big Ma. Help! Let me down. I can't stand height. <laughs> Here's a three-point skid landing. Yeah, I give up. I give up. <laughs> the ruby. He had it all the time in that basket. And he told me it was a cobra. He was the only cobra spinner. What's that old saying about one bad apple spoils the bunch? He won't harm anyone else, Mr. Cargo. My faithful subjects will see to that. Please return this ruby to its rightful place. The National Museum in Monrovia. That will be our pleasure, Your Highness. Scratch, scratch, look. When Big Mom dug that trench in the ground, he uncovered the world's greatest brontosaurus femur bone. Just what I've always wanted. Hooray! Now Twaddle won't have to fiddle with the shovel. Please come back again sometime. Our gate will always be open. Thank you, Your Highness. And for you, little man, a kiss. 
And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and the Desert Queen. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot.